once again welcome back to my youtube channel in today's tutorial i want to show you how to convert excel file to spss file so you can actually work and do everything in excel or maybe you don't have spss and after working in excel you decide to convert everything or just import everything into spss like this and then you can continue with your data analysis so i'm going to walk you through how to do it but remember to subscribe if today is your first time and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss my future videos okay so let's jump right this. so i have my excel file here and then i have my xpss file over here and next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to close this application i'm going to close the spss and then i'll show you how to do that okay so i've opened the spss as you can see there's nothing showing at the moment and this is our excel file i've already saved this onto my computer so this is what we're going to do with SPSS opened. This is actually the file, the interface. With SPSS open, just go to file, click on file, and you can see import, import data. So when you hover your case over, you can see you have option to import several files. You can actually import Excel file, S CS, CSV file data, text file, and other files. In this case, we want to convert or import Excel file. So just go ahead and click on that. And then here we are going to navigate to where we have our excel file okay we're actually going to navigate to wherever we have the excel file and then just try and then import that to our document so th so this is the excel file i want to import this is the excel file called re results so this is the excel file i want to import so so this is the excel file i want to import i'll just select it and then go to open now it's going to take some time and then move everything or import the content of the excel file into uh, SPSS okay so you can see at the moment it's able to generate give me the columns and everything I can just you can see a preview of all your entire data and over here you can specify the range where you want to import your files but we are going to go with this default settings and then just go ahead and click on OK at the moment you can see after clicking OK it went ahead to import everything back to SPSS, it went ahead to import everything into SPSS for me, so I can move around. I can see all my columns, everything I have in Excel, everything I have in Excel over here. If you come to my Excel file, everything I have in my columns and everything, everything I have here in my columns. If I scroll through everything I have here within my Excel file, actually been imported into SPSS. So this is basically how to go about it. So now, if you have written so when you have everything in SPSS, you can now go ahead and then do your data analysis or maybe do some few editing. You can actually select and then expand columns. Just as we have in Excel, you can actually do that. You can expand columns as well. So like, subscribe for more ITTs, more tricks and more technique and more coding videos. So this is how to import or convert Excel file to SPSS. So like, come away again. Bye-bye.